Hi YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make amazing restaurant style croutons that are perfect as a snack or as a topping for your salad or soup. Uh, first thing you're going to need is a serrated knife. That's a knife with the little saw-like teeth. I'm going to use a half a loaf of white bread. I'm going to use two tablespoons of garlic, a little salt, pepper, parmesan, Italian seasoning, chicken base, and paprika. This is going to be highly seasoned and tasty. I have a stick of butter melting in my uh, pan. And then you need a parchment lined baking tray. And you need a super hot oven. 400 degrees is what I'm using. And essentially you're making a highly seasoned miniature toast. So I'm back over here and the first step is to cut all the edges off the white bread and to cut it into little squares or whatever shape you choose. I'm going to do some squares and some triangles to make it more interesting for my kids. And you don't throw away the edges or the crusts of the bread. You want to save that to make meatballs or breadcrumbs or something else. So let me show you what it looks like after that step is done. So now I have all of my bread chopped up into rectangles, squares, and triangles. And it's laid out in a single layer. Now I'm going to move to my flavoring. So I'm going to melt that stick of butter with the garlic. Alright, you want to go a medium low heat because you don't want the garlic to burn. And you don't want the butter to brown. I'm going to add my two tablespoons of garlic. And I always have chopped garlic in my freezer. Alright, so after the garlic infuses in the butter and it's nice and melted, then we're going to add our other ingredients. And you can see the crust is already bagged up, ready for the freezer and our next cool recipe. So I'll, let me show you what it looks like when the garlic butter is ready. So this is what your garlic butter should look like when it's done. There's a pleasant garlic aroma in the air. You can still see the chunks of garlic. But it's not browning. So this is still on low. While this is on low, you're just going to eyeball a teaspoon of salt. That's about a teaspoon. Teaspoon of pepper. That's about a teaspoon. A teaspoon of chicken base. I'm going to have to pinch this one out to make sure I don't overuse it. That's about a teaspoon. Chicken base. Italian seasoning. Alrighty, and about a teaspoon of paprika. Alrighty, so then I'm going to stir that up. That's done. I'm going to use my spoon and sprinkle it all over the breadcrumbs. I'm sorry, the cubes of bread. Then my last step is going to be to hit everything with the grated Parmesan. All right, so I'm just going to spoon it and after I spoon it on, I'm going to toss it to make sure that every piece is lightly coated. Alright, so let me show you what it looks like after it's all lightly coated and tossed on both sides. So, when it's at this stage here, 
is pillowy and buttery and it's ready to have a lot of things stuck to it so what I want to stick to it is Parmesan cheese so you're going to liberally apply your grated Parmesan Yes, <laughs> it already smells amazing. Now I'm going to do a few more tosses. Look at this. Parmesan is everywhere. You see how it sticks to it? Alright, now that the Parmesan is adhered to every piece, I'm going to lay it out flat again. Single layer. So let me show you what that step looks like. Look at that Parmesan. It's hugging every piece of bread. So it's all fully seasoned and ready to go into my 400 degree oven. When you're doing this step, you do not leave the kitchen. You don't use a timer because it's going to go fast. Remember, it's just mini seasoned toast. Um, you want the bread to be crunchy. You don't want any softness left in the bread. So that should take under six minutes. Um, I'm going to check it in three and see if it doesn't need to be tossed. So both sides can be aired out and dried out. But you're definitely not going to be letting this go for more than six to ten minutes. Let me show you what it looks like after the first three and putting it in the oven now. Please use the top rack. The top rack is the hottest section of your oven and it's also the easiest to access since you're going to be cooking this super quickly. All right, see you soon. So it's been about three minutes and as you can see, I'm getting some color on it, but it's not crispy or done enough to be a crouton so what I'm gonna have to do is another toss to make sure that both sides of the bread are drying out pretty evenly so another toss another layout flat and then it should be done after the last three minutes you see the more you turn it the more color you see oh my god it smells like the Olive Garden in here. Because both sides are really going at the same time, but we want even exposure to the air and the heat. Because you got heat going from the air in the oven, then you got heat going from the bottom of the pan. That's how you're getting brownness on both sides. So we want to expose to both kinds of heat. Now it's looking, you see it's, it's getting crunchy, but it's not there yet. All right, it's flat again. Let me let it go for the last three minutes. Then it'll be ready to taste. Yummy! Fresh croutons. So that's what it looks like when it's done. It was a total of 10 minutes worth of baking. But look at the color and texture you see. You see crispiness everywhere. You see Parmesan and garlic studded everywhere. My goodness, it smells amazing. This is going to be so good by itself. Oh my gosh, I'll let you know what it tastes like, but I'm actually going to put it on a salad. I hope you try this recipe. <laughs> Homemade restaurant style croutons. I got one of the triangle pieces. Look at all that color. <laughs> Do you hear the crunch? Mmm. Mmm. 
If you do it just like I did, you may never buy a bag of croutons again. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me get another piece. <laughs> triangle <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. thank you so much for watching it's good